history, the breakdown in law and order and civil disobedience has constituted the number one issue in this election year. In order to do something about that, as a candidate for governor, I have announced that my first thing I will do after I'm elected will be call a crime conference. Uh, this crime conference will study reasons why crime has increased in Indiana ten times as fast as the population and will make recommendations to the 1969 General Assembly as to what might be done about that. I have appointed a couple of very distinguished gentlemen to assist me in this conference. The first is Judge William Sharp of the Indianapolis Municipal Court. The governor's uh, crime conference uh, has great potential, in my opinion, by pulling uh, uh, into the executive phase all of the expertise that men out in the field have uh, on the crime problem and making available to him the workaday facts that he will need in order to come up with a program that will make the system work so that the citizens of the state of Indiana can really enjoy the freedom from fear Another important member of the Indianapolis Bar who has agreed to serve on this conference is Richard Given, a man with 17 years of distinguished service in law enforcement in the state of Indiana. Well, thank you, Ed. It certainly is an honor for me to have you appoint me to this committee. I think every judge and every man seeking a judicial office in the state of Indiana must assume the responsibility to this that of the judges to see to it that we have good law enforcement in the state. Thank you, Mr. Given. In addition to these two distinguished gentlemen, Judge Arterburn, former Chief Justice of the Indiana Supreme Court, has been appointed and agreed to serve, but has been unable to be with us today. We're happy and very much pleased at the enthusiasm which has been shown by these distinguished individuals, and we're certain of great success in bringing an end to the rapid rise of crime in the state of Indiana.